Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Welcome on in. Bringing back the legend, Mr. Jim Cricket, after he had that horrible uh, car crash and he lost his BMW to the fire. He uh, got a new one. And we're going to be able to be like, well, you know, it's Japanese or whatever. So <laughs> that's what, what this is the plans. Steelmatic, thank you for the 32 months. Appreciate that. Uh, we're going to try to get his uh, tickets up until they try to take his license away. That's what I plan to do with this character. He's the one that does the stupid stuff. And we don't do a lot of speeding RP. So I figured we could, uh, you know, start it off with that. So that's what we got going on. No, not a shootout. No. He's, he's not a he's not a gangbanger or anything like that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna kill the music here. We're gonna get right on into it. Or you want me to keep the music low in the background? I can do that too. It's up to you guys if you want the uh, music in or not. While we're doing shenanigans in this car, S Honda S2000. It's pretty awesome. Music low until an RP scene. Turn off so you can hear the engine. You got it. Yeah, I think we'll kill the uh, the music here. It's okay. Not a big deal. Um, all right, cool. We're ready to get this thing uh, on the road. Might as well fuel it up while we're here. I haven't even driven this thing yet. I'm very excited to drive it. It's a cool car. Um, why is my blinker on? Having some weird stuff with the blinkers on this car, from what I can tell so far. We'll fuel it up anyway. There we go. It's a pretty slick looking car though, man. I gotta say, I do like it. But how you guys doing tonight? Having a good week so far, hopefully? OG Fast and Furious vibes, yep. If it was like yellow, it definitely would. It most definitely would. Uh, Steelmatic 83, 32 months. Thank you very much for that, dude. Uh, Jace, uh, sir, Jasa, four, one, one, two, four months. Thank you. My day slash night's been great. Uh, got my, uh, flight sim room up and running. So I have the flight sim up and, uh, up to date. I've got the, uh, the PMDG 737 800 installed. So that's going to be awesome. All I have to do is just a couple more things. Uh, and then I can stream from it, but for the most part, it's pretty much good to go. You know what I did? I might have walked away from the car too fast and I have not even filled it up. Let's see how this worked. Put it back in there. Oh, nope, we did it. Thanks, full. Awesome. Oop, put it right back here, buddy. Right where you got it from, dummy. All right, cool. We're good. Or whatever. Aiden, not available. Think of the seven months. What's up? How you doing? This thing's fun to drive. And it'll do donuts. Look at that. Not too bad. It's got that turbo in it. Another one of the uh, amazing thorough cars from the civilian pack here. Check it out. Look at that dash. It's pretty fast. I haven't seen how fast it goes yet. You feel how low the car is to the ground. So there's sixth gear there, 113. And there's that, uh, I'm getting that light that keeps turning on. So it looks like it tops out at 116, which is pretty darn good. It's got straight acceleration in it, that's for certain. So we'll keep it right around 90 miles an hour. And we're just gonna act like it's a Japanese car. Although that sound is gonna get a little old, isn't it? I wonder if we can lift the suspension on it so it'll stop doing that. Might have to do that with the suspension. It might be a little too high. Nope. That's all you can do. Man, it might be the uh, the body kit that's making that sound. The thumping. You hear it? <laughs> it's kind of annoying, isn't it? Just a little bit. I'm still doing American Truck Simulator on my main channel, man. I just did one not too long ago. Get the blue lights on this thing too at night, so it's gonna look awesome. I don't know, man. I have to get rid of that. It may not like those. 
that body kit on it. Um, let's see here real fast. Spoiler. I don't think it's that. Let's try this, this, and this. See if it stops doing it. Nope, still does it. It's just bottoming out, it feels like. So I'm not really sure why it's doing that. So we can put that stuff back on it. Oh well. Star Wars uh, Pony, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream family. How you doing today? It's got the blacked out rims on it. We can get a pull over already. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about coming back for me. Oh yeah, he's coming back for us. <laughs> Sounds like a washing machine. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. This is the car for Jim. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to flex it over here at the flywheels. Get an oil change. Can I get like a uh, oil change or whatever over here? Hey, uh, do you guys like do oil changes or oil changes or whatever? Oh, I'm a, uh, I'm another the customer. The guy over there. Yeah. Okay, he like works here or something. Yeah, yeah the guy yeah. over there in the Mustang works here. All right, that's cool. Yeah, because the car's like from Japan or whatever, so I'm not really sure how like I can go actually do it myself. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, and I gotta put my hard top on or something. Oh yeah, hey, man. Hey, can you change my yourself. oil in the in the car or something? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm it's it's from so Japan, so it needs like a special oil or something. Hi. How you doing? Well, there, you're in luck. We can deal with Supras and everything else, so I can do it. All right. Can you put the hard top on the car for me? Yeah, I can do that for you. All right. I'm just gonna go sit in here and get a soda or something. How much is it going to cost? Uh, no more than 60 bucks. $60. All right. You guys have like an ATM or something? Uh, I don't think so, but we do take All right. cards if you need to. If not, uh, if you don't have that, you can take do the you guys little, take, uh, uh Apple pay over there. I'm sorry. You guys take, uh, Apple pay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll do that on my phone. All right. Yeah, the secretary in there will handle all that. All right. Later, fam. <laughs> Nothing new here. Hey, I'm surprised we didn't get pulled over, though. That's actually kind of cool. Can we sit on this? We cannot. We have to do it the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. E sit chair. I'm okay with that. This will work. Let's hang out while he's uh, going to service our car. So there you go. Just like that. I figured uh, Flywheels was open today. John M. Sanders, thank you so much for the gift of subscription to Connor Tucker. Connor, welcome on in. DC-10, KC-10 being developer up. Yeah, for Flight Simulator. Very excited for that, man. I love the MD-10. Find a Bigfoot Bobo. Think of the 15 months. What's up, brother? All right. He's, he's doing what he's got to do. Oh, there's the new train. Like I say, every single time, that is a live player. We do not have AI trains anymore. What car replaces BMW? A Honda S2000. It seems more up his alley, and we can kind of just go down the Japanese route about how uh, we need to, uh, you know, how it, it's always going to be something that you don't need it to be. Just like the whole you know, kilometers an hour versus the thing. I'm going to still do that with this car. Don't you worry about it. Because I'm going to say we put an aftermarket uh, <laughs> speedometer in it. Have I heard of the Project Homecoming GTA 5 server? No. I have not. Nothing's wrong with Japanese cars. These cars are awesome, man. The S2000 is a really cool car. I always, always loved that car. And we have a, I don't think we can do a two emotes now. Changes the oil on the Honda with the correct oil. Look at that. He's doing it. 
Yep, we put a JDM Speedo in it. Classic. You better believe it. Uh, check R5 settings. I thought I went over those, but uh, e I, I'm pretty sure I did that in a recent video. It was the one where I went over all my settings. Not sure. Uh, dedicated racing service. Nice. Uh, no, the uh, dedicated racing server that I do want to get into. Um, what is their name? Let me look. Let me see what their name is. Uh, Pro, Street, Pro Street Car Club. That's who it is. I've been meaning to uh, do some RP with those guys. They do something completely different than what OCRP does. They do car meets and stuff like that. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. There was a cop following us, but I guess he just didn't care. Hey, Avanchit, what's up? Yeah, for uh, for Jim, this makes more sense. You know what I mean? This is his kind of car. This is what he does. There we go. It's done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay the uh, cashier. That's what they said to do. Me pays for oil change. I'm going to get me a soda. Now, there's the soda. E soda. There we go. Got our sodi pop. Here he comes. All right, she's all done. Was Here the air filter back. like burnt out or something? Uh, the oil was a little overdue, but yeah, it's got a bad. special air filter uh, that I had to import from Japan for it. So I don't think you guys have any of those. Probably not. I'd probably have to order it. All right, well, I paid her or whatever, so I guess we're good. All right. Well, you have your keys back. All right. Uh, thank you. All, set. all right. Did you guys do any, like, t hot tunes to it? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't mess with anything. If I, like, order a, uh, if I order something off of eBay and I bring it in, can you guys, like, install it or something? Oh, yeah, we can do that for you. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a chip in it or something like that. All right, we can do that for you. That doesn't right. sound too bad. All right, later, fam. All right. <laughs> now we got our hard top on the car now. Pretty darn slick. That's a good looking car right there. I think that's Vito's car. Mercedes. I'm going to ask him if he drifts it. And Jim Cricket just stands in the rain. Do you like to like drifting and stuff when it rains? Uh, sometimes when there's no one watching. Where can I, where you want to go drift? I'm doing media tonight. I don't know what that is. What's uh, what's that? Stringer. Uh, Chasing after police uh, chases and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Last time I did that, I was told I can't do that, so I got in trouble. Oh, they said you can do that. The cops, like I can't like intervene with their police chases or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, you have to keep your distance, and you can't be seen speeding and stuff like that. All right, I'll give that a try. All right. Later, fam. Later, man. Nice guy, by the way. Yeah, it's a, a Japanese import car my dad got because my BMW got destroyed and it was like a horrible crash and it caught on fire or whatever. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Well, it's a nice car, man. Yeah, he's got like money and stuff, so I was able to get this one at least. It's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. All right. Later. Later, man. to harass these civs about their cars. Is that a, uh, a Japanese import car? Well, yes, sir. Yes, it is. Did you get it ordered in from Japan? Uh, no, sir. I bought it down in uh, the city there. Oh, yeah. My dad got this thing uh, from Japan or whatever, so it's got like the... He calls it the JDM Speedo or whatever. I just call this one a camera. Yeah, it's a, this is a Honda uh, 2000. Oh, very nice, sir. This is a uh, Toyota. 
what kind of engine is in the uh in it uh the kind you put uh the kind you put the throttle down and it goes <laughs> Oh, I got you. Yeah, because I thought this was like an XS, but I think it's an XSE. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means. I just thought it was a nice car, so I purchased it. Is this like the only Japanese import car you own? Uh, it's the only car I own currently, yes. You do like drifts and stuff in the rain? Uh, if I do that, I, I would probably wreck. Uh, you need to like go to the the driver's course or something like that because i have like a racing license but then i lost it like five years ago oh no what happened like i uh i won the race and the guy that he didn't like that i won the race so they took my racing license away and told me i couldn't come back to the track or whatever oh wow how poor yeah it wasn't it wasn't cool because we were racing for pinks oh i lost the ride too eh? Yeah, I think you had a hot tune on it because he was like pulling on me, but then I, uh, but then I like side drafted him or something with my, uh, because I had that big spoiler on the back and he didn't like that. Oh, wow. Some people, some people. All right. Later, fam. Do you have any interest in a guitar, sir? A guitar? What kind yes, of guitar is it? I, I play electric guitar. Oh, one second, sir. One second. Why don't I introduce myself? My name is Wayne Kerr. I'm a salesman. Wayne, like, uh, like Batman or something. <laughs> He's got the golf clubs in the car. What is he doing? Uh. Are you like a magician? Where'd he go? <laughs> I don't think he 10 zeroed. I don't know. I think he's getting the right emote for the guitar. I'm just gonna sit in my car for a second in case that thing glitches out and hits the pumps. Just in case. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of that guy. Yeah, you like my lights on it? One heck of a salesman, yep. Just poof. It's apparated. Oh, look at that. The rain is over. Yeah, I thought he got in his trunk, but I could be wrong. Kind of wait and see what happens here. Let me try to go do some slick drifts, though. Since it's raining. And he's still still gone. Is that a cop behind me? It might be. That is a cop. Oh yeah, getting pulled over. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Got pulled over for being a dummy. Let roll the windows down. Ah, oh, I got dirt on the car. Oh man! I asked them to clean it off. Yeah, they both observed me being driving like an idiot. How's it going, sir? Deputy Miller, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What's up, fam? Hey, uh, any idea why I pulled you over? Uh, because my car's like from Japan. <laughs> well, not exactly. I pulled you over because you were letting it slide a little out there, and I clocked you at 83 coming down Panorama. So yeah, it was like a it's raining. With things. 
Yeah, it's like raining and stuff, so it's the only time like I can actually like do some drifting because these because the tires are like really expensive whenever you like do drifting or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I understand. It's just unfortunately you can't can't really do that on public roads. So you got your license registration? Yeah, I do. My dad just got me the car like yesterday. It's a S two thousand from uh, Japan. He had like imported from Japan or whatever. I, oh, wow. I didn't I'm not sure about what the speed is because I have like the JDM speedo in it So it, it says it in kilometers an hour not miles per hour. Oh Yeah, yeah, I got you. I understand. Um, so the vehicle's probably not registered. Do you have a bill of sale for it? No, it, it's registered my dad did it yesterday. Oh, okay, good. Excellent. All right uh, Go ahead and grab the registration and license and uh, we'll go from there There you go, my name's Jim cricket, but like it's not like uh, like Jiminy Cricket, like the the Pinocchio or whatever, because my parents are like fans of that. But I I wasn't a huge fan of that, so I don't like going by it. Oh, I got you. Okay, so, so no Jiminy Cricket. Just, yeah, just Mr. it's Cricket. just Jim. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, hang out here with this officer. I'm gonna go run your information. I'll be back. All right, later. <laughs> uh, how's it going tonight, Jim? Uh, I'm pretty good, but like I just got the. Uh, the oil changed at flywheels and it was like still raining so i wanted to see if the car can drift as good as it did last time i did it okay fair enough fair enough but yeah like i was telling him it's got like a jdm speedo in it so it's like kilometers an hour not miles per hour so i didn't even i thought i was doing like 60 but he said i was doing 80. Gotcha. You, you realize that uh, like kilometers an hour is a little bit uh, faster than what it says. Yeah, I, I think I remember that because I used to have a BMW and I had the same problem, but I downloaded an app and I have it on my phone and it tells me like how fast I'm going. But I was also told I, I shouldn't be like looking down at my phone while driving. So I have it like set to like a beep, beep, beep or, or whatever when I get to the speed limit, but I guess it just didn't do it. <laughs> oh, it's a nice car. That's for that's for sure. Yeah, it just got imported from Japan. Okay. And then it's he. My dad spent a lot of money on like the conversion because it used to be a right-hand drive, and then they had to like put it all on the left-hand side so I could drive it in America. Okay, I got you. Are those uh, blue headlights there too? Yeah, they're like the Xenons or something. You might uh, might want to take it to a shop because uh, I think the temperature might be a little wrong on them because they're showing blue front facing and you're not able to have blue lights front facing. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that those are supposed to show show up soon from Amazon, so I'm just waiting on those to show up so I can do the swap. Okay, I gotcha. It should be a hot swap. It won't take more than like five minutes. I think I, I, I was watching a video on life invader and they seemed like, uh, it was only going to take five minutes. Yeah. I mean, it's just a connector. You pop it out of the housing and change your bulb out, put it back in. Yeah. And, and the car's from Japan. So it's like, I don't know what the instructions say on them on online. And I was just like looking at life invader and I think that they know what they're doing. So. I'm going to just follow what they do. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm sure there's a, a bunch of uh, other guides out there too. So, Yeah, I just had to bring it down to flywheel so I could get the uh, I could get the oil changed on it, but it takes like a certain kind of oil. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, and I asked him if he would do any hot tunes to it, but he, like, I guess I can get a a chip on Amazon and then bring it to him and then he'll install it. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Cricket. Yeah. Is your legal first name James? Yeah, it's James because I don't okay. go by Jiminy. Okay. No, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, listen, you got a pretty squeaky clean record, so I'm going to help you keep it today. So just do me a favor. Keep it slowed down. Damn, don't let no it slide ticket. out like that and uh, don't be speeding, okay? And then... I'm uh, just going to give you a verbal warning. All right. Yeah, I'll try to slow it down. All right, man. I appreciate it. There's your license back. Uh, right. you have any questions for me? 
I don't have any questions. All right, Mr. Cricket, will you have a good day and uh, be safe? All right, later, fam. They said they don't like the lights on my car. <laughs> That's great. Let's see if I can do some donuts at uh, Boathouse. Those are blue lights. Those are not what you call it at all. I was going to leave drifting. I don't like to be that guy. No, no cops like that guy. And I love the car shows miles per hour and kilometers an hour, but he chooses to have it on kilometers. <laughs> Is anybody at the burger shot? There is somebody. No. Nope. Just the stringer going there. Need to see if the car does a better forward donut or a reverse donut. Oh, it does good donuts. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> That's pretty slick, man. Pretty impressive. Let's try it in reverse. Oh, I think it's the bumpers. Nope. The bumpers doing the blinkers. What was causing that? There's a reverse donut. Not near as good because it's rear wheel drive. I, I think Sandy Shores police department's on. So I was trying to get their attention. Maybe they're not. Cool. We'll go wash the car. Zombie Mike, what's up, man? Thank you for the 11 months. You are very welcome. If I missed some of you guys earlier, I'm sorry. We were on some scenes. If that happened. There we go. Dole, think about the two months. What's up? How you doing? Well, the lights are doing that thing. Some other people saying that that was happening. Wash it up good. I don't know why those lights are doing that. I think it's a cash thing. Had that problem before in the past. Doing stupid stuff like that. Paul Beeler, what's up? How you doing? County 3055. Hello to you. It's a me, Control. What's up? I don't, think it, I don't think it was dirty. I think it just needed to do the fix so it would actually fix it. I don't think it might mess with the fuel on it. Hopefully not. It took a little bit of fuel. That's not bad.
<laughs> that is a sieve. Lone Wolf, what's up? Thank you for the gifted five subscriptions. Appreciate that big time. If you guys got one, be sure to say thank you. That was very nice of you. Oh, what up? You almost ran me off the road, dude. How fast is that bike going or something? I don't know. I haven't tried it out. You want to like race down the road? Sure. Which way are you going? You going north or south? We can go south. All right. Oh, yeah. Pulling on. He has no light on his car or his bike either. Oh, he's doing the wheelie trick. There's his light. He's doing the wheelie trick. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this thing smoked it. It's a Sanchez. He might get me on the top end, actually. He's coming close to that. Oh, there he goes. Wheelie trick for the win. I'm giving her all she's got. 116. <laughs> I pretty much had you. You got three more wheels than me, though. Let's see if we can keep up. <laughs> I'm blocking this time. That is some. Banging on this car, man. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. He might get me with the wheel trick. Let's see the wheelie. Let's see if it does it. 120. That's the fastest I've seen this thing go. Honestly. Yeah, I think it's faster. Yeah, I think so. It's not much of a sports bike. All right, later, fam. Later. <laughs> True Jim Cricket fashion. Reverse up the wrong side and hits a friggin' barrel trying to do something cool. Actually, the drift track's back. Should we go down to the drift track? Put it in drift mode. See what it can do. I can call in uh, reports of street racing. That'll get. That'll spice things up for the highway patrol. I think I should do that. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do reports of street racing. I'll do not number nine on one. I'll do uh, nine on one description of call will be street racing. And then boom. Sent to dispatch. We'll see if they pick it up. See if they pick it up. They might. Call us Kathy. I can be Kathy. We can be Kathy. Tendris 911, what's the location of the emergency? 
Yes, hi. I le I work at the uh, casino. Well, I mean, I don't really work here, but I'm like here uh, filling in for one of my friends. And there's a loud ruckus outside. I went outside to go see what was going on out there. And there's some street racing happening out there on Highway 13. Okay, which direction are they heading on 13? Uh, they were going south, and they were saying they were yelling at something about going down the ports and doing all this drift and whatnot, but they almost killed somebody out there. Okay, you said that they said something about heading to the port? Yeah, they said they was going to do some drifting and then go back up into the county or whatever, but they, it was a white car, and it had, like, really obnoxious blue lights on it, and the other one was a motorcycle, and the guy had, like, a bald head. He had no shirt on, and he had shorts on. And okay, don't even ask if I got a plate because I didn't get no plate because I can't see that far. That's all right. Could you uh, redescribe the bike for me, please? I don't know. It's one of them stupid motorcycles you all see up in uh, Sandy Shores. Like a dirt bike or whatever. Okay. Right, and, and the guy kept saying or whatever or whatever, and they were shouting back and forth to each other. And I, I was trying to figure out what's going on because I'm out here working the parking jobs. And uh, it was it was a huge ruckus going on on 13. Okay, uh, we'll get some deputies and uh, troopers started that way. Um, do you want to have contact with any of these deputies or anything like that? No, I got to get back to my porking job. And right now, I can tell you this. If they don't come down here and they don't do something about it, I'm going to be calling back. Okay, ma'am. We'll get them down there and uh, we'll make sure that they uh, take care of it. Thank you for calling. All right. Thank you, Junebug. There we go. Go ahead and uh, mute up. Boop. There we go. Back to it. Yeah, we'll we'll go. We'll hit the drift track up a little bit. That's yeah, cool. That's two thousand. Pretty slick. I'll show you it should be back in in the server again I put it back in this thing handles like a dream though I gotta say not bad at all well, we're gonna drift it that's where we're headed to right now I mean, this thing gets up and goes. It's a slick car. side actually should be right here yep there it is mm -hmm. you know I never use drift mode I know it's in something stupid You guys remember where it's at? It's always something it's sitting in some spot you never think it is. Oh, I think it's like uh, player options. Nope. Not player options. It's something stupid. I know that.
Hmm. This is driving me nuts. I passed it. Under what? Which one? I'm so tired of looking at these screens, dude. <laughs> you have no clue. The amount of the screens I go through. Oh, a miscellaneous? Yeah, it's something stupid. Is it a developer tool? Nope. Keybind settings. That's what it is. Stupid. It's in something real dumb. This button does it. Space bar or something. X. What is it? Control? Nope. Not control, not alt. Shift. There it is. It's shift. Oh, oh my. Evans. Car doesn't want to stop. I don't know if this thing is going to be good for uh, <laughs> drifting. Look at this. It's so slow. It's like stuck in, in drift mode now. It's like, yeah, on ice. Yeah, if it works, I can get it to do it in the corners. See, stupid hot keys. Get out of here. Sticky keys. It wasn't a sticky key. You're nuts. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Oh my God. Sticky keys. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah. I remember why I don't use it. <laughs> It's a pain in the butt to get to one, but two, it doesn't even work how you want it to. It's a pain in the butt to deal with. All right, we'll go back to the scene of the crime. It's been enough time now. That'll work. Here's sirens down here. Oh, I'm gonna get pulled over. <laughs> oh no. Give him some light so he can see what he's doing. <laughs> there we go. I didn't even see that cop. I heard a siren. Don't have to. You don't have to get in a pursuit every single time, guys. I don't even have that much fuel to get in a pursuit that long. Well, I mean, it'll it last a while, but you know. No, I pulled in the alley, but I wanted to at least light it up so we can see them. So it's not completely black, you know? Oh, there's another one. Here we go. I was robbed from earlier. Purple, what's up? Thank you for uh, gifting a subscription to Partial Tape. How are you doing this evening? Trooper, character of the Senatorius House of Crawl. 
Hold on, let me roll these windows down. They're Japanese and they take a minute. I gotta figure out which button it is. Alrighty, take your time. I think like the hard top, like it, it doesn't want to go down, but there you go. Alrighty. What's up? Uh, the reason why for the uh, for stopping you today is we got uh, somebody called in saying about possible street racing between you and a motorcycle. I was like this motorcycle guy in Sandy Shores, and he was like trying to get me to race, but I didn't want to race him because, well, it's like illegal or whatever. But the, my car is like way faster than his, so it's not like worth it, you know. I understand. Uh, if you don't mind, can I get a uh, driver's license? insurance and registration of the vehicle yeah here you go my name's jim, uh, jim cricket but like it my parents like called me jiminy from like jiminy cricket and pinocchio and all that all and right. i don't like that so i don't go by that but like my actual name's james hi right, mr james uh sit tight with me here i'm just gonna go run here all right <laughs> hi jim what's going on now I don't know. There's like a motorcycle guy. He's like crazy. He wasn't wearing a helmet. He had no shirt on or anything. And he was just trying to get me like to race him over and over. And he was harassing me. So I came down to the drift track to like turn, you know, bust, bust some corners. Okay. I got you. You're not doing it out on the road, are you? No, I learned my lesson from earlier. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. They didn't catch me right, speeding or doing there. that. The, the trooper's going to run your information there and we should get you on your way all right all right yeah i need to get home so i can swap out my uh my the the bulbs they're like japanese bulbs that are in there now that are the blue ones and like you were saying they're like not good enough so i gotta like change them out well it's not that they're not good enough it's just illegal to have blue or red front facing lights oh i didn't know that yeah <laughs> But it's not like illegal to go to the drift track because there's like nobody there. No, it's not illegal to go to the drift track. All right, I thought that's what he was pulling me over for. No, we just got reports that uh, people were street racing, said they were heading down the drift track, and he just happened to find you there. So. And your car matched a description of the uh, report given. So. Yeah, everybody on the roads are, they're always like hassling me and they think that like I'm a street racer or whatever because of my car. Uh, I mean, it's understandable. I mean, you know, it's a Honda S2000, so. Yeah, and the guy on the motorcycle, he just kept like trying to get me to race him. And he's like doing wheelies and stuff, but like if he does a wheelie, he'll go like a little faster than me, but it wasn't like worth racing for because I only like usually race for pinks. Okay, I got you. <laughs> well, how fast were you going if uh, he passed you? Uh, I think he passed me at 80 miles an hour. I was doing 70. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. How you doing here, Mr. Cricket? Yeah, I'm doing all right. What's up? All right, here. Uh, from what the caller called in and all that, we, I haven't seen you do anything uh, besides taking off on me on the... Uh, uh, coming from the port here, I didn't catch your speed here, so I'm going to cut you a break here. I'm going to let you off with the warning. Try to keep it slowed down if you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it slowed down. I heard a siren, and I slowed down. Yes, sir. So, if, if you do that, I'll let you off with the warning here. And Another warning! There, try not to do any street racing tonight if you... Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't do street racing. I know it's illegal. Other than that, I don't have anything else for you, sir. All right. Can I get out if I go straight? Uh, let me back out yeah, here. Yeah, you should be able to. There's a, uh, yeah. just up on the left there, there's another exit. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Or if you actually you go all the way down to, I'm pretty sure there's an exit to the next road. All right, chill. Anything else for me? Questions? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Awesome, you're free to go. All right, later, fam. Later. 
<laughs> they didn't clock me. But they know I'm up to, to no good. They definitely know that. Let me go get some fuel in this thing. Drift mode burned it up, man, because it, it goes off of the RPM that you're using. Get on the highway. Yeah, drift mode's off. If I hit shift, it'll do it. I don't normally hit shift on my, when I'm driving the car, so. There you go. All right, had to say hi to some people. We had uh, Lewis. Thank you very much for the two months. Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. And then uh, Mathis, 198. What's up? Thank you for the 15 months. With the time gone, I know, dude. It goes quick. It goes real quick. We'll take the 15 that way we can uh, get some fuel stop at the old gas station that we started out at that works for me Yeah, I definitely want to get him, uh, get some tickets under his belt. He needs them. I'd love for them to like get to the point where they impound the car. So we're going to have to step it up a little bit more with speed until they finally just go. Okay, dude, no more speeding. And we're not swapping the headlights out. <laughs> we're not going to do that. That I can tell you right now. Let's fuel it up. Yeah, 20%. So I had a quarter tank. That's not so bad. That's so bad at all. Deputy Chief, thank you so much for the three months. Good to see you. I love the Je vids, Jeff. Keep up the Tuesday. Keep up Tuesday. Good work. Happy Tuesday. If that's where you're at, it's Monday here. There we go. Boop. And Boop. perfect. Oh, there's the cop right there. <laughs> Heading back up there, up to the, the county. Let's take our hard top off. Get rid of my windows. Let's see. There they go. There we go. Now we got the convertible open top. Right around 90 here. We need to get a, uh, what you call it? Yeah, there's Sparco. Seats. That's what I got in there. Set the cruiser at 90. So we're doing exactly 90 when we go by a cop. That one works for me. The 
We'll go up to Joshua and we'll take that down towards Stab City. I think that's what we're going to do there. Cruising in fifth gear. I'm a Smokey. What's up? Thank you for the three months. Appreciate you. I set, have it set at 90, so we won't go over that at least. track out <laughs> trucks leaving I wonder if they're coming after me Oh yeah, I wonder if they clocked me. I'll do 80 in the 50. Oh, we're getting pulled over. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get a ticket for the speed. There's two of them in there. Rocking the double light bar, Florida style. Talk about the seats being FIA, ISC rated. Perfect. Dude, every, everybody does pursuits. You can do more with RP than pursuits. And then you just, you're, you're running and then you get, then you go to jail. You can do a lot more with it. What's up? How you doing there, sir? So, I'm doing uh, all right. My name is Deputy Gibbon. This is my uh, partner here. Do you have the reason for the stop today? Uh, because my car's from Japan and it like it looks fast. Uh, no, oh, well, partially. Um, no, you're going a little quick today. We uh, we saw you fly up to our traffic stop. Didn't didn't clock you there. And then uh, as you were going down Joshua here, we saw you were going pretty quick. Uh, do you have a license registration? All that good, all that good jazz. Yeah, like how fast was I going? Because I have like an app on my phone to t like convert the kilometers an hour to miles per hour. Gotcha. So, so we I we didn't catch you with the radar, but we were uh, pacing you with our car, and we were doing around seventy. So. Okay, then that checks out. Because I think I was like supposed to be doing a buck twenty. In uh, a buck so twenty in kilometers. 20. Yeah, in kilometers an hour or whatever. Okay. Yeah. That's that's. I mean, either way, that's still speeding, man. You know that, right? Yeah, the, these uh, seats are like FIA ISC rated. So even if like I got in a crash at that speed, I'd be okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, <laughs> you got your uh, license and registration, all good stuff, man. Yeah, my name's uh, my name's Jim Cricket, but oh, my shit. parents like called me Jiminy when I was younger because they tried to like name me after Pinocchio or whatever. But I don't go. I don't like that. So I go by Jim, but my legal name is James. 
right. So what what does it show on your license? Uh, well, here it is. It's James Cricket. All right. I'll be right back with you, James. All right. Yeah, my dad just got this car for me like three days ago. Oh, wow. Was it your birthday? Not really. He just, uh, he was happy I cleaned my room. <laughs> you, uh, gotcha. Yeah, because I used to have a BMW, which is from Bavaria, but that car, like, got smoked, and then it, uh, caught on fire, so it's gone. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. He just gave you a new one, right, like, yesterday, two days ago? Yeah, like, three days ago. Three days ago, that's right. Oh, wow. That's, but uh, I crashed my nice car dad. about a, a few, quite a few months ago. Okay. That's and then once cool. I was, yeah, and then once I was better, that's why I got these ISC-rated seats, because the last ones weren't, and, like, I got, like, thrown from my car, and then it caught uh -huh. on fire, and then I think, like, a uh, fire helicopter or something flew over and put it out. Were you wearing your seatbelt there in the, when you crashed last time? I thought I was, but I might have forgotten. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna help a lot, man. I mean, yeah, probably more so than, like, whatever rated seats you got. Um, yeah, these have, like, racing harnesses on, so I always just keep my racing harnesses on. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, racing harnesses, uh, that might be, I don't know if that's like <laughs> counter and like detrimental, you know, you got to get out of the car fast. This thing's going to, I like to get like there. strapped in so I won't go flying out because it's a convertible. Like it was imported from Japan, but then they had to swap the right hand over to the left hand and it like took, I think like three months. Okay. So now I just got these ISC rated ones. Oh, that's good, man. I'm, I'm glad you're uh, thinking about your safety. That's, that's definitely smart. Yeah, and then I got a but, spoiler, uh, so it keeps the downforce in the back of the car so it doesn't lift off the ground. Oh, yeah, that's that's what keeps it down there, huh? Okay, that's cool. Did you guys find that uh, that motorcycle that was trying to, like, race everybody or something? I didn't hear about a motorcycle trying to race anybody. We did speak to a guy on, a like, a chopper-style bike, but... No, it was like a dirt bike. He had like a bald head and he wasn't wearing any like clothes, like no shirt or anything. Interesting. Yeah, no, I, I haven't come across that individual yet. Yeah. Keep an eye out for him. Yeah, he was trying to like race everybody and I told him that racing's illegal, so you can't do that. That's Dark right, Shadows, what's right, up? Yeah. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream I mean, family. How you know, doing tonight? Still got to make sure we're going to see them too. Yeah, I was uh, doing the I was there. doing the speed limit. Oh, uh, you're doing a, you're doing 120 kilometers, right? 70 miles an hour. Yeah, that's what I, I yeah I think I thought it was 60 through there, so I could do 10 over because like I heard on uh, Life Invader that if you do 10 over, it's okay. Well, two things wrong there. Well, one, uh, I don't don't get your information from Life Invader, and two, the speed limit's 50 there, so you're <laughs> doing uh, 20 over. Do they like update the speed limits or something? No, it's always been 50 for... I'll, have to, I'll have to look at my app. Gotcha, All right, gotcha, Mr. Man. I'm not going to give you a citation, but Damn I'm going to give you a written warning. Just saying that... Another you know, warning. You slow it down. Um, I just need you, you to sign here. It's not a mission to go. It's just meaning that you did receive this uh, written warning. and Just make sure you slow it down. Be safe. Yeah, I'll keep it slowed down. All righty, then. Well... Thank you for signing this, and when we get back to our car and shut off our lights, you're free to go. All right, later, fam. Later. All right, Jimmy, uh, let you hop on out of here. Have a good one. Yeah, they're not they're not clocking me. That's why. Oh, I have to do the classic. There's the lights off, so I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna turn around, real slowly. <laughs> oh, they're turning around too. We drive real slow.
Too good. Too good. Yeah, somebody's got to clock us eventually. We'll go up to a 78 alert for this area. It'll be a cop in harmony or something. There's one right there. Oh, I just ran the red in front of him. Did he see me run the red? He did not see me run the red. That works too. What the heck's going on up here? Oh, whoa, hello. Popcorn popper AI cars. Gotta love it. Whoa, that car came out of nowhere. Oh, that car, that thing's cool. Little buggy. Just gotta get him to clock me. That's all. This thing, man, it makes so much racket. Boom, 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 boom. Over and over. I'll pass on double yellow. Why not? Oh yeah, he's pulling out on me. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just stop it right there at 80, so he can, he'll be able to catch me. That should be a that should be a ticket. That should be a ticket right there, like a music beat. Those shocks. Boom, 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 boom. Taking a while to catch up. I don't think he's going to catch me. He might. Oh, double birds. Got a double birdie on that one. Yeah, I think we're years away from GTA 6. Uh, if he wanted me, he would have pulled me over already. And gave up. I wasn't even going that fast. He probably thought I turned or something. More than likely. Yeah, I think we're still a ways from GTA 6. I, I'm thinking we're going to get a uh, announcement this year, though. More than likely. It would make sense after the leak and all that for them to kind of start fresh here in 2023 with a release in 2025. That would make more sense to me based on, you know, kind of what it's always been. But I don't know. Uh, everybody's hoping that we get an announcement this year, you know. Not trying to go too fast because we just want to get the ticket, you know, get his uh, record going. So not too fast. How many y'all are excited for the 10th 
four days from now, this Friday, is the OCRP Air Show. I have uh, Blue, Angel, Blue Angels practice tonight. That's going to be awesome. You go mess around with some grapeseed people. See, there's anything going on in the grapeseed. I thought that the LTD was open earlier. <laughs> there's no way that cop didn't see me do that. Trying to tandem drift with a Granger. <laughs> Jeremy, I still got to convert that thing, man. But I plan to do it. I do plan to do it. Is there anybody here at the gas station? Let's start like that. There we go. I think it was doing better donuts before. Now it doesn't want to do them. I had to just get that e-brake going. There we go. Well, I think this is a grape seed unit right there. didn't care about what I was up to. for life. Thank you for getting that subscription. I appreciate you big time, man. Really cool of you to do that. <laughs> well, that grape seed unit wants me or not. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. Please have a clock at 80 on this. I think he wants me though. He's waiting for it. He's going to do it right before the end of his jurisdiction. There it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's five. I think that's Rob right there. Five, two, nine, Rob. I'm almost a hundred percent. Let's see. <laughs> yup. I'm pretty sure that's Rob. That is too good. Here comes the ticket. Grapeseed ain't messing around, dude. There's no way. No way they're messing around. Shut the engine off. Looks like it's uh oh it's Paul, Ro rolling grapeseed. Hello, sir. Oh, what's up? My name's Officer Paul. It's Grapeseed Police Department. The reason I'm stopping you, sir, is for the speed. Uh, how fast was I going? Well, I got you doing 79 on Union. I didn't get you on 13, and then I had you doing about 70 on Joshua. Yeah, like I'm using my app to convert the kilometers an hour over to miles per hour, and like uh, I thought I was supposed to be doing a buck twenty because I have a JDM speedo in it or whatever. 
It's a Japanese import car. Okay, no problem. Uh, do you have your uh, driver's license registration for insurance on you, sir? Yeah, I do. My dad got me this car like three days ago. Okay. So it should be like in the in the DMV or whatever. Okay, no problem. And uh, w what is your name? Uh, my name's Jim Cricket. All right, Jim. But my parents like tried to call me Jiminy Cricket for like Pinocchio or whatever back in the day, and I didn't like it, so... I chose Jim, but I had to get it legally changed to James, so it's James Cricket. All right, James. Well, sit tight with my partner, and I'll be uh, back with you here in a second, okay? All right. What's up? And and would you mind, too, just, you said, yeah, you're, you're, is your speedometer in kilometers? Yeah, the speedometer's in kilometers or whatever, and these are like Sparco the Racing uh, chairs, so, or, like, seats. And they're okay. FIA ISC certified. Okay. So, like, I'm not worried about flying out in a crash or something. So, like, it was originally a right-hand drive, and they had to convert it over. Okay. Okay. Uh, just sit tight, uh, James. And I, uh, I'll be right back with you, okay? All right. And Jim, we got to stop meeting like this. Well, like, I was, like, going to speed limit on the highway. I don't know why I'm getting pulled over. Well, he said he got you doing, what, 80-something on Union? Well, he said it was, I was doing 79 on 13, but then he said I was doing, like, 70 over here, but that's not what I saw on my app. Okay. Just give me a minute, all right? All right. <laughs> Appreciate you. Gotta hear this. Too good. That's the idea. Anytime they try to say something, I redirect it with some other garbage. Oh, he's got stuff to do. There he goes. Will Hughes, thank you for the 13 months. Baker's dozen. Hey, Jeff, man, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. You got it, man. Glad you enjoy them. I've been having a blast with OCRP, man. I really, truly have. By the way, you see here on the CVPI, on the new uh, versions, they're going to have that side marker light. It's going to be on the actual mirror, which that'll be pretty cool. And that uh, single, uh, that single visor light's going away, too. <laughs> I'm hoping I get a ticket. No, I, I'm sorry again. Forgive me. Uh, you, you said you like to be called Jim or James? I go by Jim. Jim. Okay. Hey, so Jim, I saw you got a ticket uh, today already. Was it for the speed as well too? No, they gave me a warning and it was for like, oh, well, maybe it was for speed or something like that. But they said they didn't okay. have, me, have me clock, but I was like, I was kind of in disagreement about it because I wasn't going as fast as like they thought I was and sure. I'm just using my app to like convert the kilometers over to miles per hour. Okay, do you, do you have the like an appointment or anything like that to get it switched over to miles per hour so you're not having to use your phone and and then try to drive at the same time to convert speed? No, it's more of like a feature cuz it's a JDM speedometer in here so like when it was imported from Japan it had like one that okay. I couldn't even read because it was like Japanese letters on it. Sure. And then I told my dad that I couldn't read it. So he got me that on Amazon right. and we installed it. I think it was like two weeks ago. Okay. Um, Alex. Well, here's your stuff back. Listen, if you can, I, uh, you got to slow down, man. You got to You got to. I wasn't aware that I was speeding. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. You understand, too, that part of my job is, is to educate the motoring public, and I know you've got a little bit of a challenge with the vehicle being an import, or the speedometer anyway, so having to do the conversion, which I couldn't do, but um, in Grapeseed, we've got a lot of livestock and farmers and things like that, so just, just got to just gotta be careful with the speed, okay, uh, Mr. Cricket? Yeah, I'll watch the speed, because I used to have my BMW was, like, from Bavaria or whatever, and then it... I had a horrible crash in it, and I got ejected, and then the car oh caught on gosh, fire. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, and then your guys' helicopter had to like put it, put the fire out with water, 
So it's pretty oh, wow. much totaled and it's a total loss. And my dad was mad at me, but I was in the hospital for like a month or two. And then okay. I got out and then three days ago, he was like, are you going to clean your room up? So I cleaned my room up and then he got me this. Okay. Well, uh, Jim, is there, is there anything I could do to help you? I, I don't know if, if there's anything I can do to help you to make it. Uh, so you yeah. How fast keep... is, uh, in kilometers is 80 miles an hour. You know, I'll be totally honest with you. I'd have to go and look at my computer because I don't know the conversion. Off the yeah. My app has it, but it, it updates it in real time. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if you can, if you wouldn't mind, just, just, if it's possible to be proactive with the trend, the yeah, <laughs> he's a loss for words. Kilometers to speed. Okay, yeah, well, I can do that. Okay, do you, is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Cricket? I really appreciate uh, your cooperation, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to Grapeseed to get a sprunk. All right, well, you're free to go, Mr. Cricket, and uh, just monitor your speed for me, all right, sir? All right, later, fam. All right, all right have a great day. Hello? Yeah, what's up? I'm, I'm working, dude. What do you want? <laughs> okay, where are you at? You <laughs> He's on the phone. I want the other grape seed unit to get me, but it's going to be for, uh, doing don't, I got to do donuts at the LTD. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, he's busy. Overcast moving in. This thing drives so great. It's a lot of fun to drive this car. Should call in doing donuts. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Thirteen, grape seed, Main Street. There we go. Oh, there's the guy from earlier. Look who it is. Not wearing anything. He had a sports bike though this time. We're in the call waiting now. Come on. I hope there's like donuts on the ground. You can see them. sideshow at the LTD. I love it. Oh, 
Oh, there they are. Nice. Oh, it's over now. Hi. What's up? Can you turn the car off? Yeah, I can shut it off. Awesome. <laughs> um, before I proceed, did you get permission from like the shop owner to be doing that here? Or? Yeah, he said it was like cool or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to go check real quick. Uh, Paul, is this the car that you had stopped earlier? Sure was. The one that you were too busy with when I got ran don't, over by the monster truck? Is that it? Don't start yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, literally, it's literally the biggest pink monster truck I've ever seen. It's like Victoria's oh. Secret on wheels. Yeah. Just open your eyes next time. That worked out great. Mr. Cricket, how we doing? What's up? I'm living the dream. Yeah, I just wanted to see if my handbrake was working, and it seems like it does once in a while because it was able to do a few donuts. Yeah, no worries, man. If, if the manager told you you could do it here, not a problem. Like, oh. I went in there, and I got a sprunk, and I asked him if I could have a donut, and he said that was fine. Oh, maybe he misunderstood what you meant. Like, usually when, like, people say have a donut, it's like one with, with sprinkles and, and stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, like the confectionery? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bike blew his tire. That uh, biker guy, he's the one I was telling you about earlier, I think. Or I was telling the other officer. He was try he's been trying to race me like all day. But he was oh, really? like doing a sideshow or something, and he blew his rear tire like an idiot. Oh, uh, yeah, they have a rookie mistake, clearly. What the, the, uh, what the manager say, partner? Yeah, he, so... Uh, we're, he's going to be trespassed. Sir, sir, do you have your ID on you or your driver's license? Yeah, I do. My name is uh, is Jim Cricket. Okay. But my family, like I was originally called Jiminy Cricket from like Pinocchio or whatever. And now I didn't like that when I was in high school because they would make fun of me for my name. So I had to change right. it to Jim, but it's actually James on my license. Okay. Got it. James. Not Jiminy. Was yeah, I was unaware he wasn't. We weren't. I was talking to the guy that was in there at the counter, and I think he was talking about confectionery, and I was talking about, like, donuts outside. Oh. Okay. Uh, Paul, did you? was he cited earlier, or was a warning? No. Or? So here's the deal, man. So this has got, like, an import <laughs> speedometer thing going on with the car. His dad bought him this okay. car a couple days ago because he crashed his yeah. old one. Okay. Um, and then earlier he was telling me like he had to clean his room and stuff. So he cleaned his room after him and his oh, dad got into that. it. Yeah, yeah, it's really frustrating. Anyway, yeah, that checks, fam. Uh, yeah. For sure. Uh, so he, what he was telling me is that he has to use an app to convert kilometers to miles per hour. <laughs> and really because, you know, the science behind doing all that to drive sounds like a pain. I was just like, if you could just be a little bit more studious and... In your conversion, so you're not speeding through town. Well, I have it like really velcroed onto right. like the the passenger sure. side okay. there. Right, right. So you're not like trying to simultaneously like do math and drive at the same time. I mean, I didn't go to college for that. No. Right. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get something typed up real quick, James, and um, you're gonna be a uh, trespass from the property here. Do you understand what that means? No. Okay. So basically the owner here, he doesn't want you back. Um, so if you do return after we trespass you, uh, you're going to be arrested for trespass after warning. Um, so the trespass here is usually good for a period of one year. Um, so from today, no, oh, it's today the 6th. So to March 6th, 2024, you cannot return to this LDD. Or your so I jail. can't get like gas or anything like that? No, I mean, you can go to another gas station, but you can't do it here. All right, lit. So, all right, we're about... Are you guys going to talk to that guy because he, like, blew his tire out? Oh, did he do that here? I mean, yeah, I think so. He was, he's been trying to get me to race him. <clears throat> yeah, so what happened? He, like, approached you and was like, you know, do you want to, like, shred the tires, light the fire, stuff like that? 
Yeah, but I usually only race for pinks, and he wasn't able to do that. Did you tell you what his name was? No, he didn't tell me what his name was, but I think that he has a smoking problem. Yeah. Yeah, that would, uh, that checks. I mean, considering that he doesn't have a back tire, so. <laughs> I got, I got the joke. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. Usually people don't pick up on my humor. It can be dry at times. <laughs> I've been told the same thing when I was in high school. Really? Yeah. You strike me of, uh, with having uh, such a unique personality, man. Yeah, that's what my mom says, but my dad doesn't think so. Are your mom and dad still together? Yeah, they still live, do e live with each other, but I don't think they like each other because they stay in different rooms. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> He's going to get the whole life story. Who rides a motorcycle with no clothes on? I guess people here in Grapeseed. Clearly. This seems pretty unsafe. Okay, uh, Jim. So this little carbon copy is going to be your copy to keep. Um, this is basically just a, a paper form of what I just explained to you. So you cannot return here for a period of one year. If you All do, right, lit. Uh, you will be taken to jail. Um, I'm not going to cut you any citations, which is kind of a massive break because it looks like your driving history isn't the best. But, I mean, you know, just... I get well, it. my it's dad a spent a lot of money for the lawyer to clean up my record. I don't think I have anything on my record. I, I saw the one citation, and I also saw you flying down uh, the street here. Uh, I think that I was out. a warning that was given to me earlier. Oh, okay. All right. Well, either way, you're not getting a citation today, so that'll stay clean. But you will be a trespass from the property here, okay? So you just can't return. And uh, I just need to make sure you understand that. Yeah, I understand. That's lit. Yeah, it is. It is lit. Okay, so there is your copy to keep. Um, just be <laughs> safe pulling out of here and try and keep the speed, you know, within reason. If you want to take it somewhere fast, take it down to the track or, you know, someone with property that will let you tear it up, do donuts or whatever. Yeah, I was down at the drift track earlier and then the cops came down there and they told me that I don't. They said that I was street racing, but I was just drifting at the track and then they said it was okay to drift at the track. Well, that sounds like an odd interaction. Yeah, it's usually my uh, run-in I have with the highway patrol. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess at least it was resolved and they said you could drift at the drift track as it was intended for. Well, they they think that I'm, like, going faster than I am because I have a wing on the car, and I, I guess they don't understand that that, like, just creates downforce on the back of it, so it won't sure. roll over on me. Right. Well, I mean, I'd say a wing that large probably adds at least 25 visual horsepower. So, you know, that's yeah, that's what they said on Life Invader. But I was supposed to get I got pulled. I think what you're seeing is there. I got a warning for my headlights because my headlights are blue. And he said right. they weren't the correct uh, temperature in the state. So okay. I have to uh, gotcha. I was trying. I need to get back home in a little bit because oh. Amazon's supposed to drop off the new ones and I was just going to watch a Life Invader video on how to install them. Okay. All right, my man. Well, you're all set. Um, if you have any questions, you can just give us a call. But like I said, just can't come back here. All right. Since I'm already here, can I get gas? How uh, how close to empty are you? I have like a quarter tank. I think All that's right. what it says, but it's in Japanese. Right. Well, I don't want you to run out of gas. Yeah, just I'm sure that's probably fine. Just fill up your tank. We'll we'll be here, and then uh, you can get out of here. All right. All right. Later, fam. See you. <laughs> oh, it's too good, man. Too good. <sighs> Crashing into a cop car is just not really his character, and it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for this RP scene. You know what I mean? We're doing stupid, petty stuff in our car. 
And eventually, we'll, I want to get him up into felony speeding area where the car gets impounded and things like that. But we just started out today with him. We haven't used Jim in a long time. Oh, I didn't even feel the car up. It didn't even do it. There it goes. I guess I moved around the wrong way. Oh, man. You got it, Jeremy. I'm glad you're enjoying, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. There goes grape seed. There we go. We got it now. He's just making sure I leave. Awesome. Fun stuff, man. Do love doing stupid stuff like that. I do, I do. Oh yeah, the turbo sounds awesome in this thing. get a ticket oh nope a civilian whoa do you see that it's a truck there Oh my God, it is doing some crazy stuff up there on that mountain. Let me do donuts over here in the dirt. figure eights in this one this little spot here it's pretty awesome oh there it is take it to flywheels to get fixed in the dirt and give it that I 
Take the old flywheels. <laughs> no, no, cricket was not. I forget where I came up with Craig. It was just random. Oh, is he? Uh, it, I got. I remember. So cricket is uh, a guy I used to work with a long time ago, named John, and he used to always talk like that, and he would say or whatever about everything, and he had like the personality of dry toast. Hey, can you like fix my car or whatever? Cause these guys like try to skip in line. Uh, I can't at the moment. I just got called out to do a tow. All right, cool. But, uh, Fred, my local worker in the back can definitely handle okay, all that can I, for you. Can I go, can I go first? All righty. Cool. <laughs> that guy tried to cut me in line. Oh man. First time I've rock. Yeah. And so we, Used to build uh, rainbow play sets together. What's that? Uh, I was just my ride right through this very nice ride. It looks like it got very fast up and down the highway there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, he beat me earlier when I was on the dirt bike, so I, I found that one on the side of the road. I thought I'd try and use that one for you, but then the police came and it was. Yeah, the police aren't really cool. Like that much. Oh man, I don't like the police. Later, fam. Later, man. There we go. That's enough for a fixer upper right there. Well, that works. Don't tear it up on the way out. Get the uh, little tire thing there. That... Nope, it's fine. Sweet. It's fixed. Just like that. <laughs> yep. Funny. A guy with no sense of humor installing a playset. And uh, we used to drive around. It was early in the morning and he didn't, he never listened to music in the truck, which really drove me nuts. I mean, we're talking, I would do long, long drives for some of these jobs. And it was just so boring, man. So, so boring. So that's where Jim Cricket came from because he is almost a spitting image of that dude. For the most part. No music. Yeah, I know, right? It's that crazy. It'll drift like a mother. Shut your mouth. Cop see this. I'll just say it. it's track day. <laughs> oh, man. constant air. Oh, spun it out. I hear a helicopter. The air one's getting up in the air. It's 
pretty dusty out for that to be the case. I kind of don't want to do the uh, practice on stream. I don't want to ruin the surprise. You know what I mean? It might ruin the surprise of it all. I understand some people don't want to have their, uh, they don't want to have music on if they're, you know, chilling or whatever, or whatever it may be. I do get that. But when you're working with a coworker, it's just weird. But whenever he was teaching me how to build the play systems, he's like, just reach for that lag or whatever, or get this or whatever. And it's like, or whatever. I don't know what that is. I'm on man. Need a stronger vocabulary than or whatever, because I'm trying to learn how to build these stupid things. That was not a fun job, man. Those were 16 hour days plus, and it was you'd get up, you'd get to the place, and then you'd have to, you know, go and uh, put all the stuff in the back of the truck and then take it out. But eventually I kind of worked my way up and I got to know the, the owner, uh, and then I did runs with him. And we just installed uh, what are called goal setters. They were uh, basketball hoops, they were like the real nice basketball hoops so we just take the bobcat and some cement and uh dig the holes put the the post in put the cement in there and it was done and then we would go to like lunch and stuff so it was much easier than than uh riding with his brother outbreak game what's up how you doing tonight Beyond, I think I go. It goes without saying here in this community, we're all very excited for that game and what you have uh, brought to the table. Is there a train? I heard it. Guess not. I guess not. I just doing donuts. Nice. Noise. That is really uh, dusty out. Smoggy. Come on, we need to get a good ticket. Come on. We need a good ticket. Oh, here's a cop right here. Slowing down. He was not paying attention. Oh, maybe he was. He's busy doing something else. Nope, he's coming. Nope. Doesn't care. I went by him pretty fast. Very surprised by that one, actually. All right, we need to do 80. 82 will work. That should work. Oh, the train episode. Hell yeah, man. Thank you, baby. We got a uh, another. Uh, get some more trains in now. We have like actual trains. Which I'll have to do another uh, another stream with those. And we have an Amtrak now with a working cabin in it and everything, which is really neat. That's a cop right there. He probably saw me doing stupid stuff. He's pulling that guy over. EMS again sometime. That's be a night when there's like it's just crazy, you know what I mean? You do spend a lot of downtime when you're doing EMS. You really do. Really do. Mm. 
Let's cruise at 83. This ought to do it. This ought to do it. You want bodies? I'll give you bodies. Yeah, I'll have to see. I'll have to see what's going on tomorrow. Oh, grape seed unit. That stuff going on though. They're not bothered about me. And trust me, as bad as I want to show you guys the the practice of the Blue Angels, um, just have to have to wait for the show on Friday. It's gonna be worth it, man. It will, and you'll be riding along with me. I'm the slot pilot. I'm the uh, number four Blue Angels number four. So we have Hadley, which is uh, Sheer Insane. You've seen him in here in the uh, in OCRP. So Sheer Insane, he's a uh, boss in the number one jet. Uh, Shadow is number two jet. And then, uh, which is Anthony. And then we have Paul, which is the number three jet on the right wing. And then I'm slot pilot. And then we have uh, beef tacos and we've got Joe Blanco. Uh, they're gonna be, well, we got Vito and beef tacos. They're the ones that are gonna be the solo pilots. And then I believe it's Joe that's gonna be flying Fat Albert, I believe, which would be really cool. But we've been putting a lot of practice in, man. We got so many hours to practice, and we we have our final pra or not final, but our big practice tonight, which is a mock show for the most part. Looking forward to having you on the play test. Absolutely, outbreak. Absolutely. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, handle it all. Just kidding. Played, you know, we were playing Storm Chasers for the longest time, but I just can't continue to play it. It's a, it's a, it's a dead game. Never got any updates or anything like that, sadly. But it was the only thing out there like that. It was a lot of fun. Just sitting on the side of the road waiting for tornadoes to develop and stuff like that. It's just, it's awesome. Storm chasing is uh, definitely uh, a huge thing that I love. And I do want to bring it back here on the channel. Now that I moved back to St. Louis, I can do backyard chasing again. And I'm thinking about streaming it, but my, uh, my street, my, uh, chases are a lot more boring than others. Meaning that I am not going to get within 15 miles of a, a tornado. <laughs> like I'll get to a viewing position where you can see the supercell at distance, but I'm not going to be going nuts. So I got a Ram mount for my, uh, for the truck for the for the laptop. No way, dude. Which would be pretty awesome. Oh, I know. I saw the realism on the last play test. It looks really good. Like real good. I'm, I'm perfectly aware things are in alpha and polished, all that stuff. And it's a new, you know, a, uh, it's going to be early access. Uh, a lot of people don't like the early access model, but uh, let me tell you the reason why I enjoy it for certain games. It's because it's like Christmas, you know, you wake up the next morning or the next couple days or a week or whatever, a month, and you get a Christmas present. You're like new update. Woohoo. More stuff to do. Updates to the game engine. It's kind of cool to watch a game develop. So that's the reason why I like the early access model. I get why other people don't, but I do like it. What 10, uh, 10, 10 codes we use? We use FHP, so Florida Highway Patrol, and we use uh, the Florida uh, state statutes for our laws is what we do. Yeah, it's the best way to have uh, the fund rest of development while keeping it transparent. Yep. Because, I mean, I backed Outbreak years ago, uh, and I got two keys. I got one for me and Dave. I remember that. He was the only one who was playing Storm Chasers with me at the time. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, I get it. 
there's so much you have to sift through with uh with the whole kickstarter pro problem which is you know you're, you're, they're taking a cut and all that so i mean there's that as well and with the early access program it allows these development teams to uh continue to develop without going broke basically surprised that you didn't see me i mean he might have Oh my God. That was the worst AI crash I've seen in a while. Oh yeah, air show's gonna be awesome, man. Yeah, the burn rate is much slower on these cars or than our previous gas grip so you can go a lot further on a quarter tank like right now we can go all the way to the city no problem you couldn't do that before could not be done man yeah the npc was going pretty quick not gonna lie it looks awesome the blue lights oh with the fog Pretty darn cool. I need some fuel in Sandy Shores. Can't tell what's real anymore, man. With the AI cars driving like that. They're going nuts, dude. I also like having the fuel scripting because it you can say hi to people whenever you're at the fuel station. After you fill up. Because if you walk too far away and you don't see that number, it's not gonna fill your car up. Or it's going to do that. Been having that happen to me too. Or it won't fuel. There it goes. Sometimes it takes a couple times. So many points. So Windows Media, how you doing tonight? Where are we at? Boom. Oh, he's gone already. By the time I got it filled up, I can't even say hi to the dude. What I was just talking about. Oh, somebody is getting towed. What is that? A police car in the back of that? What in the hell is that? What is this? Ridiculous. Need to push it to the eighties so we can get a ticket, man. That's our whole goal of the night. 
All the cops have been too nice to us. We're not getting any tickets. We need to get a ticket. Come on, we can do it. I mean, 83 is where it's at, man. In a 60. It's 23 over. Come on, Highway Patrol. Where are you at? Try to get him to race us. Oh! He was getting off the highway at high speed. <laughs> Love that works. You can honk at the AI and they start taking off on you. Well, Jim doesn't have a CDL. But he has no CDL to lose. Diplo arriver. What's up? How you doing tonight? A cool looking car, man. I do like it. Uh, the headlights are absolutely illegal. We've been asked to change them out. We still haven't done it. Of course, I'm not going to do that right away. Cruising for a ticket. It's basically what we're doing here. Don't stop till you get enough. Till we get till we get one. Guys, if people are at metagaming gaming, just do what I do. Ignore it. Just ignore it. That's all you gotta do. When you bring attention to it, it makes it metagaming. <laughs> I just ignore it. Yeah, they're special Japanese headlights. And that's what we told them, actually. <laughs> so it that checks. Dismal timestamp, thank you for the 10 months. Evening to you. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, this car is awesome at night. Yeah, in white. It's the only way to have this S2000, man. It's a good looking car. Why my blinker keeps turning on. I gotta figure out what is causing that. It's when I change camera views. Oh, my left blinker is tied to my back button. That's what it is. Now I know. Hey, Scott, what's up? Evening. Almost biffed it reading chat there. Almost bought the farm. That's the car bottoming out, and I don't think that I can fix it. It probably needs a handle line or something. More than likely. What was the Ohio Patroller up to, man? But they're not doing anything, are they? They must have a big, huge scene going on. More than likely is the case. It's all a yellow Corvette. I can try to do some pulls with them. Corvette. Oh, 
Never mind. It's a Camaro. They're doing that. Let's try the loop one more time. I would just love to get a ticket, you know? Uh, this car will do 116, but it uh, tops out at like 120 something on hills. Well, it goes about the speed of a police car, but it's just got a lot more. Uh, it's got a lot of get up and go straight acceleration, you know, that helps it. Another cop did not care. What the heck is going on here, dude? They did not care. I wasn't going slow. It's opposite day. Oh my God. What is that dude doing? That could have been bad. Yeah, they had a death wish. Opposite lanes of traffic on a four wheeler doing wheelies. I mean, that'll do it, right? Well, Y'all be happy to know I got my uh, flight simulator up and running again. I'm very excited about that. Here's our cop. It happened. Finally got it. Finally got it, man. Oh yes. We're going to do our virtual sun and fun. Let's see. That's coming up in May, isn't it? Jeremy. PK, the redneck. What's up? How you doing? Glad you enjoy the, uh, the videos, man. Thank you very much for watching for five years. Absolutely crazy. How's it going, sir? Deputy Miller, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What's up? Hey, man. I pulled you over for the speed. You were going a little too fast back there. All right, because, like, I used my app to try to convert the kilometers an hour over because I was supposed to be doing a buck 20, but I guess I was, maybe I was going, like, a little faster. Yeah, I think I pulled you over earlier when you uh, gave me the same story, right? Yeah, it's like a JDM speedometer, so it's like... See that guy over there? He almost hit me. I was on Joshua Road and he came at me head on and he was doing a wheelie in my lane and I almost hit him. Oh, that, that four wheeler that just passed? Yeah, he had no lights on and it scared the, the, the poop out of me. Okay, I'll see if I can get a unit out there. Right now we've got a pursuit going on, so we'll uh, see what we can do. Uh, you got your license registration for me? Yeah, I do. My name's uh, Jim 
cricket, but my parents like originally called me Jiminy, but I didn't like that because like I made a fun about it when I was in high school. So I, my actual name is James. So it's James cricket, but I go by Jim, not Jiminy. All right, Mr. Cricket, um, hang out here. I'm going to go type you into the system. I'll be right back. All right, later. Oh, we got what we wanted. We got pulled over. Yeah, there's a huge pursuit going on, apparently. That's probably where all the cops are. Doing a burnout whenever cops get in their car. Dude, I, I've been on the receiving end of that. It's so annoying. It's so loud, and it's just obnoxious. And you can write them a ticket for doing it, too. And you can get in trouble for uh, damaging their police car. Spitting rocks at it. So, no. I'm not going to do that. That's the beautiful thing about OCRP is that um, everybody starts off as a sieve. Um, and we don't have full time LEO here. So all the LEO have to go sieve. All the sieve, not all the sieve go LEO, but they have to take the training to become LEO. And Ryan just trained 110 new cops. So that's not new members. That's current members that uh, applied to be LEO. So that was... Uh, that was the big push before we uh, opened up our apps. And we're very close to opening apps. Like, I mean, days, possibly a week or more. I mean, it really depends, but it's very close. So I want to make sure everything's good to go before we open up the apps because it seems like you just take in a bunch of people, but it's not that easy. And we wanted to make sure that we had all of our server updates on here. Everything was ready in place before uh, everything happened. You know, we put a bunch of new assets. We had to test them. Since OCRP is kind of a rolling beta server, we test everything as a group. Because uh, OCRP is more like a family than it is, you know, you're just logging into a live server with uh, random people. David Bell, thank you for gifting out five subscriptions. Appreciate that big time, man. Thank you very much. And to apply, you have to be uh, over eight. You have to be 18 or over. So 18 plus and uh, you know, like bringing a personality will help you um, because why would you want to join an RP community if you're scared to talk on the microphone if you don't want to RP? Uh, that doesn't really fly too well and it, it'll come across in the, uh, in the interview. So if you get to the interview stage, like explain to them why you want to RP and they're probably going to have you RP in, in that. Give them an example of a character or something. And, and it seems like that's a little harsh, but it's really not because that's the caliber of people we want here. We, we, we're adults with, you know, uh, like-minded uh, individuals. And we don't RP with kids, obviously. But don't uh, apply expecting you're going to get into uh, LEO position immediately. Um, like I said, it's it's a 60 days minimum of being uh, a sieve before you're allowed to be uh, allowed to apply to become an LEO. You have to know it from both ends, man. You really do. Because the small stupid things the sieves do, if they're just a sieve all the time, uh, or they get bored and they're doing the same stuff, it's, you know, it can be a bit of a nuisance eventually, but... Everybody has that option to what's called a 1066, which is a disregard um, in the FHP 10 codes. But all it means is that you don't have to engage in RP if you do not want to. So if you pull somebody over and they're a sovereign citizen, you're not feeling it. You're in, you're new at it. You're like, I don't know the laws as well. It's just going to be a nonsense. Then you can just be like, all right, have a nice day. That's all you got to do. In my, in my, uh, from what I have seen, yes, a lot of the great civs become LEOs and they're great LEOs because they have so much experience. Well, I'm getting a ticket. Yes. Hey, Mr. Cricket. Yeah, what's up? Hey, so listen, I saw that you, uh, got a ticket from one of our, one of my friends a little earlier tonight. So yeah, they keep saying that I got a ticket, but it was a warning and I don't even remember what the warning was for. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Uh, so listen, 
I understand that you've got a weird speedometer and you're trying to do a calculation on the fly or whatever, um, but you've been caught too many times speeding. So unfortunately, I'm going to be citing you tonight, okay? I clocked you 72 and a 50. It's going to be a $200 fine. All right, and, lit. Uh, I know. Uh, so listen, you really need to get that fixed or you need to just err on the side of caution and drive slower rather than faster, you know? Yeah, I'll just like keep it slowed down. What what a... What is uh, 60 miles an hour in kilometers an hour? You know, that's a great question. I don't actually know the conversion. <laughs> um, I would assume you, I mean, you said you have a phone that can do it for you, right? Yeah, that's what I've been using is my phone. It like converts it on the fly. Yeah, that's understandable. And it probably is working. It's just, um, maybe it's just not very accurate. Maybe it's not getting your location quite well. So um, I honestly would recommend you probably don't rely on it and just kind of keep the speed down if it feels like you're going fast you probably are you know yeah that makes sense to me okay so i need you to sign this ticket not an admission of guilt just promise you either pay the fine or appear in court on the date on the back all right all right here you go appreciate it that's and my john here... hancock oh yes it is very nice um there is your copy of the ticket and your license registration back do you have any questions for me? No, I don't. All right, Mr. Cricket, please keep the speed down, okay? Or you're going to get another ticket, and then it could get worse from there, all right? All right, sounds good. Later, fam. All right, have a fun, safe night. Let. <laughs> all right, we got a ticket, finally. It took us two hours, but we got a ticket. We got so many warnings. So many nice cops tonight. But this one wasn't having it. And I don't blame him. He saw the priors in there for speeding and all that. So we finally got a ticket. Yes, we did. Ah, it's too good, man. Too darn good. What a cool car. Really think this one fits him well. If I uh, am honest. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm really honest. Uh, all right, cool. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for us. I'm going to see who else is streaming. I think we're going to send you over to Old Wes. He's doing uh, he's doing uh, LEO tonight. And he's been doing a really good job at LEO. So just show him some love. Tell him we think he's doing a great job over here. Uh, and keep it up. But well, that'll do it, guys. I am Travis. Thank you for the nine months. I had a Twitch baby. I see that right there. Thank you very much for that. Y'all enjoy your night. Go say hi to Wes. Give him some words of encouragement. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.